Hey guys, IgnoDS here, and today I'll be teaching you guys how to get shaders on CSGO and also a cool font. So basically today I'll be teaching you guys how to install shaders and a font just by installing them into the CSGO directory and it's pretty easy. Also, a warning, you need a really strong computer for this. I mean, just look at CSGO without the shaders. It looks way worse than with the shaders. So right now I have the shaders on and I will be switching it back to non-shaders just like right now. Yeah, see as you can see it looks way more bland. And now shaders are on again. Shaders off. Shaders on. I hope you guys get the idea what it's called. Uh, CSGO with shaders has m way more vibrance. So you want to learn how to make your CSGO look awesome. Warning, you will probably need a really good computer to put in shaders. But for the fonts, there's not going to be really a major spec upgrade. So first, just open up the web browser you use. I use Google Chrome. And down in the description, I'll put the link for the shaders and the link for where you get CSGO fonts at. Basically, I already shows you how to get it right here. So, and this is this website is basically a library of fonts you can use. So let's go try to find a, a good one to use, I guess. And probably not the same as mine's, but if you guys want to know which one I use, it's um, Biko, and I learned how to install fonts on CSGO from this guy named. From this guy's, uh, this guy's YouTube name X Truffle or something. I'll put him also down in the link below. And yeah, it's called Biko and that looks pretty good. But there are plenty other fonts that look awesome as well. So uh, let's go find something like uh, this looks pretty fresh. So let's go download Gasol. As you can see, it's downloaded right there. Open this up. As you can see, it goes into the Steam directory and stuff. So, go to File Explorer if you're on Windows 10 and other stuff. And uh, go to where you downloaded uh, your Steam library. I have two directories for my Steam library. One for my first games and then the other for more... Uh, data extensive or space extensive games and uh so i have to go so most of the time it will be in program files times 86 if you have a 64 si if you have a 64 bit system and uh you go to steam then you go to steam apps you go to common and then here you can find your uh little games so let's open that also and as you can see we're at csgo right now see uh counter strike so open that up and then open this up and as you can see it goes into CSGO click that click that it goes to resource resource and then flash flash and basically you have to copy these things into there uh, there's like already a font mapping CFG so it'll replace it and if you guys want to back up just in case just create a new folder called backup and place it right in there so basically let's go copy this wait let's go make a backup actually first for uh, Biko so new Biko backup And then uh, let's go find the thing. It's called Gasol. Just in case we want to switch over back. So, uh, Gasol backup. And then uh, we're gonna place this and this into, uh, into our Biko backup. If I can find it. Come on, scroll up. <laughs> it's in there 
and now we don't have to replace anything since I already placed the font mapping we just copy that into there as you can see it's all there and then just to back it up real quick so we don't have to do it later right there so uh, everything's in there and uh, let's go try to run CSGO to see if it works and as you can see the font has been installed correctly I think I might switch back to Biko because it looks like way too small and stuff as you can see uh, the salt works and stuff that looks pretty cool it's all right there yeah got that so uh, now let's get into installing some shaders so as you can see the font installation worked uh, now let's get into installing some shaders so let's go to the mega download page and if you have the mega sync plugin for chrome slash firefox slash whatever browser you have then click this but if you don't uh, click download through your browser but I recommend downloading the mega sync because it gets pretty fast and uh, let's go download it but since we already have downloaded let's just go to where the folder is now it's right here shaders so it's right there uh, let's go open back chrome right here and then uh, as you can see it's right here yeah so we open this up there's a newer version of reshade I think but this one has three effects I guess and it also has the master effect already so I just decided to use this I uh, learned how to install shaders into any game but I started with Roblox from Johan S. Kruger so I will also put his channel link down below and yeah he's a pretty cool youtuber uh, and uh, this works for any game that has direct x or open gl as a uh, I don't know what's called like rendering dll I guess yeah um, so first we open up where counter strike is and we already have it open from flash and yeah uh, so uh, first let's get into uh, this area right here we need to remember this area uh, then you open up reshade setup exe press yes then you want to click select game as you can see uh, all you have to do is copy yeah you, f you first have to click this copy it paste it over here but since I already have it I don't have to do that then I have to click CSGO press open and as you can see auto detection has failed it's because it doesn't detect any uh, direct 3d and stuff but uh, what is it called CSGO runs on direct 3d9 so just click that and as you can see it has all the stuff right there it basically copied reshade the reshade DLLs and uh, renamed it to d3d9 which uh, is also the name of the direct X D direct x9 dll that's in uh the windows directory and uh now we have to copy this thing right here just copy that over there place and now we have all the stuff normally when you run it it won't work so bec it's because it's not supposed to be in this area it's supposed to be in the bin area so basically, we have to have those selected, D3D9 selected, sweet, sweet FX, and I think that's all. And then you just place it in the bin. And I already have done that, as you can see, master effect, sweet FX, all that jazz. So uh, I'm just going to go delete this real quick. And if you have it correct, uh, shaders should run perfectly for you. So uh, let's get back into that again. Okay, guys, as you can see when we run it, there's this little uh, printing thing right there. That's just to show if it worked correctly. And it should say, like, success. But if it says failed, then uh, you, must, you must have done something wrong. Yeah, so uh, basically that's how you install. That's how you make CSGO look really sexy so uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video 
if you guys uh, need help with other games because you can do this to any other game except of the font thing just the shaders thing uh, just comment down below what game you want to see and I will do the video if I have the game and if I can get it so yeah hope you guys enjoyed this video leave a like uh, share this video with your friends comment down below if you guys want me to change anything and yeah thank you guys for watching and see ya subscribe for more videos as well